Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tag This Calling and today we are going to talk about the IOTA and its branches. Alright, the IOTA which is the largest artery in the body which begins at the top of the left ventricle. The heart has two ventricles, the right ventricle and the left ventricle but the IOTA begins at the left ventricle. It's actually a tube about foot long and an inch in diameter. We actually divide the iota into four parts. The iota into four parts, that's the ascending iota, the ascending iota, the arc of iota, the descending iota. And the descending iota is further divided into two parts. That is, the thoracic iota and the abdominal iota. And let's begin our discussion with the ascending iota. The ascending iota is about five centimeter, which actually begins at the base of left, left ventricle and it lies within the fibrous pericardium. Remember, always do remember that. It's, a, it, it's an important point to understand that it, it actually, the ascending iota lies within the fibrous pericardium and further divides. The ascending iota has got only two branches, nothing in detail, got two branches, that right coronary artery and the left coronary artery. The right and left coronary artery actually supplies the blood to the heart or you can say the muscle of the heart. And um, as we have talked about uh, the, uh, where the aorta begins, we also, I must add that on, uh, it also begins on a level with the lower border of the third costal cartilage behind left half of sternum. That's all about the ascending aorta, which got two branches, and the right and left coronary artery. The arc of aorta, which is really important, it, it actually got three main branches, the uh, now, three main branches. We are further going to discuss about the uh, arc of iota. So, arc of iota, also called this transverse iota, which is an umbrella shaped over the, which is actually over the superior aspect of heart, and it it uh, it starts after the uh, ascending iota, and which ends at the left subclavian artery. Left subclavian artery, the ascend uh, the arc of iota ends, and it has three main branches, which actually supply the upper limbs and the head. The first main branch is branchio, brachiocephalic trunk, or we can also say that brachiocephalic artery. And the second branch, which is, uh, the first branch is uh, brachiocephalic trunk. The second branch is left common carotid artery. And the third one is left subclavian artery. So let's start with the right subcla uh, let's start with the brachiocephalic trunk. The brachiocephalic trunk also divides into two other branches that is right subclavian artery which actually supplies the upper limb. Upper limb is supplied by the right subclavian artery which is the branch of the brachiocephalic trunk and the right and also divides into right common carotid artery which is the branch of brachiocephalic artery so right portions are the branch of the uh, brachiocephalic artery the right common carotid artery and it supplies the head and neck in the same consideration we have got two other branches which are not the part of brachiocephalic trunk but actually the branches of the arc of aorta are the branch uh, the arc of aorta the uh, left carotid artery the left common carotid artery and the left subclavian artery the left common carotid artery supplies head and neck similar to the uh, right uh, common carotid artery but it supplies to the left side of that area and this left subclavian artery supplies to the left upper limb of uh, uh, left upper limb of the body. So this is all about uh, the uh, arc of arc of iota. Now we are going to talk about the descending iota. The descending iota, which is uh, which play an important role, and it is actually uh, further divided. Uh, the descending iota is further uh, when it goes downward. Uh, the first uh, first portion of it we call it the thoracic iota. The second portion when it crosses the abdomen. 
or we can say when it crosses the diaphragm, when it crosses the diaphragm, it changes its name to, or the, when it passes the aortic hiatus, it changes into its name into abdominal aorta. So let's just talk about the descending aorta or be specific about it. We call it descending thoracic aorta. We are going to talk about descending thoracic aorta because it is starting after the arc of aorta. So it begins at the lower border of the fourth thoracic vertebra. The descending thoracic aorta begins at the lower border of the fourth thoracic vertebra and ends at the lower border of the 12th 12 thoracic vertebra. And it passes the diaphragm uh, behind uh, at the abdominal aorta. So the abdominal aorta, when the thoracic aorta is converted into the abdominal aorta at the uh, aortic hiatus, it divides into uh, the abdominal aorta then further uh, it's in its terminal branches divides into the right and uh, right and left common iliac artery at the point uh, of the navel at the navel point it further divides into the right and common iliac artery and further it uh, moves downward and supplies the pelvis and the lower limb that's the uh, end story and let's uh, just move for further and talk about the branches of the descending aorta or be specific about it uh, let's first discuss about the uh, descending thoracic aorta so this is another easy made uh, thing here we can understand about the branches of the thoracic aorta so uh, we have got six branches of the thoracic aorta which is bronchial artery pericardial artery superior phrenic artery, esophageal artery, posterior costal artery, subcostal artery. So uh, we have, we can remember the name of it. So let's be, let's talk about uh, which part of the body or which organ or which structure do these artery, uh, the branches of the thoracic artery do supply. So the bronchial uh, artery, uh, the name suggests that it's, uh, it supplies the lungs. And what about the pericardial artery? You guessed it right. It supplies the dorsal portion of pericardium. You say, must say, dorsal portion of pericardium. And what about the superior phrenic artery? It actually supplies diaphragm. and adrenal glands. So, superior phrenic artery is going to supply the uh, diaphragm and adrenal gland. What about the esophageal artery? Simple, it's esophagus, esophagus. All right, here we go with esophagus. And the, what about the posterior intercostal artery? It is going to supply the intercostal, intercostal space, yeah. Is going to supply the intercostal space and what about subcostal artery it is going to supply the flat abdominal wall muscles abdominal wall muscles U -S -C -E -L -S. all right so it's very easy to remember the thoracic aorta or we can say descending thoracic aorta uh, has six branch uh, six branches at bronchial artery which supplies lungs we've got pericardial artery which supplies the dorsal portion of the pericardial pericardium and we got superior phrenic artery which supplies the diaphragm and adrenal glands esophageal artery esophagus posterior intercostal artery intercostal space and subcostal artery which supplies flat abdominal wall muscles that's all about the thoracic aorta now let's talk about the abdominal aorta which is uh, uh, the uh, the descending artery the descending aorta but after uh, when the thoracic aorta pass after it passes the uh, it crosses the diaphragm through the aortic hiatus it changes its name it actually changes its name from thoracic aorta to abdominal aorta after passing the um, aortic hiatus yeah with the short term and it have got six or uh, three branches we are not going that much detail in this topic but here we are going to discuss about uh, only going to name these uh, branches because uh, the abdominal aorta gives the three main types of branches that is visceral branches parietal branches and terminal branches the visceral branches are celiac number one number two is superior mesentric number three is inferior mesentric number four middle supra renals number five renals number six is gonadals all right 
six branches of the visceral uh, of the visceral branches of the abdominal aorta and three branches of parietal uh, parietal branches of the abdominal aorta are inferior uh, uh, phrenex lumbars medium sacral and the terminal branches we have already talked about it when uh, the abdominal aorta reached to the point of uh, the at the point navel point it divides into common uh, the co it divides the uh, into it it changes its name into common iliac which uh, further which actually divides into common iliacs and which further divides into right and left common iliac artery. So that's all about uh, the uh, branches of the aorta. We haven't discussed it in that much detail, but we have uh, understood it superficially, the main branches. Uh, and uh, in our special video, which will be uploaded soon, we will be discussing about the, all the arteries of the human body from the aorta to the tip of our toes. So. In our, in our next special video about the arteries, we are going to discuss about that. So thanks for watching and keep visiting Thai Schooling. And if you have any question, please do not forget to comment us and tell us. We will be helping you.